When you are on your screen, the first thing you are going to do is you're going to find Final Cut Pro. And you come down here, it is the rainbow director's action thingamabobber, and you're going to click on that, and you'll see that Final Cut Pro pops up. Now, you'll notice that down here is someone else's video. Maybe I'm in this, and you'll see that someone else's video is on yours. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create our own event. All right, we need to create our own event to house our own footage. If we look in this top left hand corner, you'll see that there is a media arts library and a Shamrock News library. So we have our action thingamabobber right there. We're clicked on that in the purple and there's media arts and Shamrock News. If we are in Media Arts, we're going to make an event in the Media Arts Library. If we're in Shamrock News, we're gonna make an event in the Shamrock News Library. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna to go to File, and then go New, and then go to Event. Okay? I wanna make sure that I'm in the right library. So I'm doing my six by six for Media Arts, so I'm going to make sure it's in the Media Arts Library. Then, I'm just gonna name it whatever I want the name of my event to be. For me, I'm gonna go LD six by six. I also want to make sure I click right here where it says create new project. Okay. I want that create new project click. That means it's going to create a project within my event. So I click. Okay. Now over on this left hand side, again, you'll see LD six by six. If I click there and then I double click my untitled project. So now I'm in my own project. I'm also just to make sure that I know which project is mine going to click there and I'm going to name it. And my video is going to be named late night at Rao. This is really important because now when I come down here, you'll see in the middle of my screen, I know that I'm working in the late night at Rao video. Once we have our event made and once we have our project made, now it's time to import our footage. First thing we're gonna do when importing our cameras, we're gonna see that there is a mini USB on the left side of the camera. Left side being when I'm holding the camera and filming on my left side of the camera. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna open up this tab right here, not the one that has the microphone, but this one, and you'll see there's a mini USB. There is already a cord plugged into your computer, whether it's one of the new ones or the old ones, and you're just going to plug it in, and then you are going to turn it on. Once I turn my camera on, this screen is going to pop up. You'll see in the left hand side that there are two different types of cameras. A Canon EOS 5D Mark IV, which is what I use to film. And then there's also a FaceTime camera. If you click on the FaceTime camera, the camera on your computer will start working and you can start importing from there. We have nicer cameras than the computer camera, so we're going to bypass that. So I'm going to click on my Canon EOS 5D Mark IV and I'm going to find my footage and I'm going to import it. Remember, I wanna make sure I'm importing it into the right place. So it says, add to existing event on the right hand side. This isn't my event, RBJ 6x6 isn't me. I'm LD 6x6, so I click there. And then I'm going to click on my clips. Now, I could click them all individually. That's gonna take a lot of time. I don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my first clip. I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna click on my last clip. That's going to highlight all five of these clips. Say for instance though, I had three clips up here and then three here and then two down at the bottom. What I could do is hold command, click, 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 and then I can click all the clips that I want. My advice would be to import all the things that you filmed because at the very least, you'll get some good bloopers out of it at the worst, you'll be able to look through the footage and you might find a clip that you didn't think was that great, but it turned out being pretty awesome. I'm gonna click on my first clip, hold down shift, click over here on my last clip. It's going to highlight all. It's going to add to the existing event LD 6x6, and then I'm going to click import selected. What I do not wanna do is not have anything selected and click import all because then all of this footage will import and sometimes it's like 40 gigabytes worth of footage we don't want to do that so I click on my first clip hold down shift click on my last clip and then go to import selected you will see up here there is a circle that is slowly filling in do not do anything until that circle fills all the way in because that indicates that all your footage has uploaded if you mess around or unplug before then all your footage will not upload or if you start pressing play, it will pause the upload. We don't want to do that. 
So we're just gonna let all this upload. My uploading is done. That is how you are going to import and upload your footage.